Hello and welcome to another GIMP tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to look at creating dynamic keyboard shortcuts in the GIMP. Now if you've seen any of my tutorials, um, particularly recently, um, you'll notice that I tend to use a lot of keyboard shortcuts to kind of cut down on having to go through file menus and things. Um, and I usually leave a list of the keyboard shortcuts that I've used in the more information section. But um, all of those keyboard shortcuts are the regular keyboard shortcuts that the GIMP comes loaded with. What you can actually do is put your own ones in there as well to kind of speed up um, functions that you might use a lot. Um, for example, desaturating a layer. We're going to look at creating a keyboard shortcut for that because there isn't one at the moment. Um, if you're not sure what a keyboard shortcut is, it's very simply just um, a set of keys that you can hold down that will produce a function. So for example you could go to file and new to create a new image or alternatively you can just hold down control and n at any point and that would just start a new image as well. Anyway the first thing we're going to need to do is go down to preferences not keyboard shortcuts yet, we're going to look at that in a second um, and in your preferences you want to go to interface and then what you should have checked um, you probably won't have to begin with but you want to make sure you do is um, this use dynamic keyboard shortcuts and then once you've done that you can click on configure keyboard shortcuts um, also once you've got that checked you can get back into that at any time just by going to file and keyboard shortcuts it's the same box that jumps up anyway if we have a look at for example um, a keyboard shortcut that already exists um, oh it doesn't because I've got rid of it um, normally if you press control and D um, the GIMP will op um, duplicate the image that you're working on so if I just quickly show you that in action I've got a picture I took while I was away on holiday if I just press control and D um, it gives me that picture again just duplicates the image um, but personally I don't find that particular function useful I don't think I ever use it so what I've done is in my keyboard shortcuts I've reassigned that control D command to do something else so you'll see that control D at the moment duplicates an image but what I'd actually like it to do is to desaturate the layer to make it grayscale or black and white now if I click on that so it says new accelerator that means I can put in a new shortcut key if I hold down control and D a warning jumps up that says if I do that, if I reassign this shortcut I'm going to remove that shortcut key to duplicate the image now I don't mind that because I don't like that shortcut key anyway so I'm going to reassign that shortcut and you'll see that now control and D will desaturate the layer so if I just quickly click on this and press control and D the desaturate layer uh, dialog comes up and I just press desaturate and it removes all the colour from the image um, what you'll also notice, um, if I just quickly go back to that, um, obviously if I go back to image and duplicate, you'll see that that's now been disabled. Anyway, so that's the first bit we were going to look at. The second bit is doing this very quickly within the menus. So for example, if I go to colours and scroll down, you'll see that desaturate has control D as its shortcut key. If I go back to image and duplicate, that doesn't have control D. However, while I'm hovering over duplicate, if I was to press control and D, you'll see that it automatically changes the shortcut key. And if I just quickly go back to colors, desaturate has that missing now. So if I press control D again, it comes back. So each time I do that, it just moves it. Uh, it changes the shortcut key. However, the problem with that, obviously, is the GIMP doesn't tell you that you're overwriting a previous function. So if you're not sure what a shortcut key does, it's a good idea to do it through the keyboard shortcuts menu here first, because then at least you get a warning. If however you know that the shortcut key you want to invent or reassign, if you know it doesn't actually do anything that you want it to do, that's anything useful, then you can just go ahead and do it very quickly in the menu, just by pressing you know, the shortcut keys that you want. So I hope that's quite straightforward. Um, there's a couple that I particularly find quite useful. Um, for example, in view, if you go down to zoom, you might know that to zoom in on an image, you can press um, the plus key and it will zoom in. And if you press the minus key, it will zoom out. 
However, what you might have also noticed is that you can't actually just press the plus key. What you have to actually press is shift and equals, um, because that's the plus. That's basically the plus key. Um, but I don't like having to press two keys for the zooming in function. You can press minus quite simply, and it will zoom out. But you have to press control. Uh, sorry, shift and equals to do that to zoom in. So what I'd like to do is just reassign that zoom in function instead of it being a plus just make it equals because then when you have an image you can zoom out just by pressing minus and you can zoom in just by pressing equals and you get that zoom in you know very simply without having to press shift at all so it's just a little bit quicker to navigate around your zooming um, anyway I'm not going to show you any more of the shortcuts I use because that might just confuse you if you've got your own but um, those are just a couple of tricks you can use to um, customize the GIMP and make it just a little bit more user friendly. Anyway, I hope you found that uh, useful and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.